Hey everyone, it's Kothis, and today I wanted to show you how I like to keep my vault cleaned out consistently. I have painfully let my vault creep up to 600 over the last couple weeks, which is not how I like to keep it. I have thousands of hours in this game, and I still like to keep my vault at 400 or less if possible. So if your vault looks like this, or is slowly starting to reach this point, and you have no clue what to prioritize or dismantle, then this video is for you. Let's get right into it. To make this as easy as possible, you're going to want to link your account with Destiny Item Manager or DIM. You can easily drag all of these items we're going to talk about in this video from your other characters in your vault to the character that you want, making it very easy to just quickly dismantle everything you need without having to dig for it or swap characters. If you for some reason don't want to do that, that's okay. You can still do all of these steps, but you'll need to do them a lot more manually, so it's going to take a lot of extra time. Alright, first step is to make sure you aren't at the glimmer cap, since you'll probably be getting tons of glimmer from all the dismantling you'll be doing. Buy anything you want, just make sure you're not at the cap. Next, make sure that you are not capped on your gunsmith reputation or close to it. If you are close, just keep an eye on it throughout this process. You don't want to waste anything here, especially gunsmith rep. Let's start off with the easy stuff, the pure trash in our vault. I know this might sound really obvious, but let's first get rid of all of our blue gear. This of course is assuming you're past the point where blues are helping you power level. Of course, if you're still using blues for that reason, definitely keep that. You don't want to prevent your power level progress. The same thing goes for green and white gear, which hopefully you don't have any of that in your vault. If you do, there's no reason to have any of this stuff, just trash it. Next, let's clear out all of our sunset armor. If we pop over to dim, we can type in the command is colon sunset. As you can see, I don't have any sunset armor here because it's completely useless. You will probably have this if you're just getting back into the game after taking a couple years off, or maybe just forgot about it in your vault for a few years. Get rid of all this stuff, it's totally worthless. Ships, sparrows, and ghosts are next. If you're not using any of these items actively, you're safe to dismantle them. You can always just go back and claim them again in your collections tab for really cheap anytime you want. If they are in your vault, they're serving no purpose other than taking up space. Let's move on to the next tier, the questionable stuff. Exotic weapons first. Do you have multiple copies of exotic weapons? If so, delete them. Unless you're keeping a few Hawkmoon or DMT rolls since they are randomized trait rolls. But even then, do you really need multiple Hawkmoons? Do you have exotics that you'll never use but are still taking up space? Delete them. Again, you can always just pull them from collections if you want them again, and all of your catalyst progress will be saved, so don't worry if you are still working your way through it. Let's clear out some legendary armor now. If you're in dim, type in base stat colon total colon less than sign. I know that's mouthful. Now this is where you get to choose. What's the lowest stat total you'd be willing to accept on armor? You might find that you've got a lot of 65 helmets, for example, with very similar stat distribution in there. My recommendation, if you're brand new, you probably won't have a full vault yet, but I still wouldn't keep any armor that's lower than 58 if I were you. Good armor is pretty easy to get. If you're a more advanced player, I'd recommend not keeping anything less than 62-ish unless it has perfect stat distribution. Those are just numbers that work for me. Figure out what works for you, those are just my recommendations. If you've got any really high stat base armor that's rolled in all the wrong places, get rid of it. As a general rule of thumb, you want to be looking for spiky stats, especially in resilience and discipline if possible. So any evenly distributed pieces are generally not worth your time. This is just my recommendation. Again, there are always arguments for everything, but you cannot go wrong with resilience and discipline. Finally, you can get rid of any extra class items you aren't using since they don't have any stats. All right, now that we have mostly good stuff left over, let's make a couple builds in DIM. I do have a DIM guide up on my channel that can walk you through the basic method of creating and saving a build if you want to check that out. It is one of my first videos, but it gets the job done. I'll put a card right here so you can click it if you want. And to keep this video short, I'm not going to be creating an entire build right now. Go ahead and watch that video if you want, but for now we'll just keep pressing on through the vault cleaning. So. Now you've got some builds, what's left over? Do you have any pieces, again, that are pretty much identical that you don't really need? Feel free to keep or trash these, it's up to you. I personally don't like keeping more than two to three very high rolls of the same item, but do what you're comfortable with. It's a common misconception that you have to have one affinity type per armor type, which is just not the case. It's way overkill, so don't feel like you have to have a god tier solar helmet, arc helmet, void helmet for every class, and so on. Swapping affinities on these items is very easy now, it just costs one upgrade module, and most of the time you'll just be using one to two affinities anyway. 
I'm going to include deep sight weapons in here too. If you're capped at 10,000 resonant elements, feel free to keep a stash of 10 to 20 completed deep sight weapons. This is your way to keep more than 10,000 resonant elements stored. One thing to note here is that you no longer need to fully complete the weapon to earn pattern progress. If the weapon is craftable, you can instantly dismantle it and still earn progress towards crafting that weapon, which is really nice. There's really no need to keep additional deep sight weapons past that 10 to 20 on backfill in your vault. So you can just dismantle the rest even though you haven't completed them if you don't really like the traits and if you're already capped out on resonant elements. To finish off this section, let's get rid of some extra exotic armor. My rule is to keep one of each exotic armor piece and to try to always keep only my best roll. If you have two of an exotic and you actually use both of them with different builds maybe, like maybe a couple of Heart of Inmost Lights, then definitely keep them both. But you don't need three Doomfang pauldrons like I have here. So go ahead and clear out your extra exotic armor. Okay, moving on to the final tier, the tough stuff weapons. No matter how I position this, there will be people out there that just don't agree with me, but again, this is my video, my recommendations, this is what works for me. Let's first type in is colon sunset again and see what pops up. I know a lot of people like their sunset weapons, but they just are straight up not as good as the new weapons most of the time. These are all power caps, so you literally cannot use them in PvE, and for PvP, there's usually an alternate gun that you can use that's new and that has an origin trait and that's just better, maybe even craftable. Keep what you want for nostalgic reasons, but don't get too caught up on that. If you have a lot of these and never use them, they again, serve no purpose being in your vault. All right, our next command, we'll type in is colon craftable. See what pops up here. These are weapons that are craftable in game, which means that you technically don't need to keep them since you can just get the pattern for it and craft a god roll later. I especially will delete these if I already have my god roll crafted. There's just no reason to keep duplicates. Just make sure not to delete your crafted item. We don't want to do that. I will say that if you don't run raids often, but maybe you manage to get a good weapon from Valve the Disciple or King's Fall, for example, feel free to keep it because unfortunately, it's probably going to be a long time until you get your crafted version of it, unless you start raiding more, which you should if you can. All right, let's finish up with a couple more things. The most painful. Weapons that you've been saving for years because they just might become meta, and the nine copies of a single gun with slightly different traits. This is almost always a big waste of time and a lost cause. You most likely will never use them, even if the traits do become meta, because Bungie will probably release a brand new and better set of weapons when that happens anyway. As for the nine dupes of weapons that you've got sitting around, just pick one. If you haven't decided between them yet, you probably never will. Just grab them all, put them in your loadout, and test them out for an hour and find the one that works best for you. Well, that is it for this one. I hope this helped you make some decisions on what to get rid of. I promise you'll feel better when it's all over with, and you won't even remember what you deleted after a few days, probably even after an hour. A clean vault is great, especially as we are approaching a new season where tons of new shiny toys are about to come out. If I forgot something, or maybe you have a method I didn't think of, please leave it in the comments so people can see it. I'm sure I missed something in this video, but this is my general process. All right, that's it for now, everyone. I will see you in the next video.